It may be warm here, but up there in the mountains, it can turn from sunshine to a blizzard in half an hour. Now that snow can be lethal, but used properly, it can also be your savior. And today, I'm gonna to show you how. Before we go up into the mountains, we have to check the local weather and avalanche forecasts, make sure we've got all our winter mountaineering gear with us, and leave word of where we're going and when we expect to be back. You know, when the weather's bad, no matter how experienced or well-equipped you are, there may be times when it's safer to stay on the mountain than trying to find your way off of it. When that happens, a snow hole may be your answer. What I'm looking for is a sheltered spot where snow collects. But of course, where there, wherever there's a gathering of snow, there's gonna be a risk of avalanche. So what I'm gonna do is look for the low end of the slope where there's the least risk. Yep, this is perfect. A low bank of snow with a gentle slope, which means there's less risk of avalanche. What I'm gonna do is dig into this bank I'm going to start a little way up, so as I dig in, the snow I excavate can fall away from in front of me. Now, this is an emergency snow hole. The point of it is to get into the snow bank and out of the prevailing weather conditions. Now, in winter, you should never be in the hills without one of these, an ice axe. And with this tool, you can cut one of these in 15 to 20 minutes. But in winter, it's also a good idea to carry a shovel. Shovel, please. This makes the job a lot quicker and easier. Now, here we are, it's finished. What I've done is I've dug in and I've created a T-shape to the right from my feet to the left of my head. I've put some insulation underneath me, that's critical, and I've got on some nice warm, dry clothes I've saved for the job. I've also got my ice axe in here so that if there's a problem, I can dig my way out. And the last thing I'm gonna do before I pull the rucksack into the doorway here is throw out this rope. Then if there is an avalanche or there's a problem, it'll help people to find me. the land's flat, the weather's come in, you've got to get out of the wind, you've got nothing to dig into. Well, in those circumstances, you can use the snow again to make a snow grave, but it's one that'll keep you alive. Basically, the snow grave is a trench dug into the snow to get us out of the wind. Then we make blocks, and with those, we're going to put a roof over it. Fairly simple construction process. You simply lock the blocks against each other and cut through to make them fit well. Well, there we go, it's finished. I'm completely sheltered from the wind. In fact, I can't even hear it. What's more, there's no risk of avalanche. Well, the last improvement I can make is to put some insulation in here, otherwise I'm gonna freeze. For my door, I'll use the rucksack. You know, the beauty of this shelter is you don't need planning permission. <laughs> <laughs> 